almond-shaped eyes. Almond-shaped eyes represent a dominant genetic trait that has been strongly selected for over evolutionary time, suggesting they provided survival advantages across multiple environments. These eyes are characterized by an iris that appears to touch both the top and bottom eyelid, with a visible crease and slight taper at the inner and outer corners. This tapered geometry creates a natural optical advantage by concentrating light in the central region of the lens, enhancing visual acuity for focused tasks while providing strong peripheral awareness. The balanced proportions make almond eyes compatible with virtually any eyeglass frame, suggesting this shape represents optimal optical performance across diverse visual tasks and lighting conditions. Beyond aesthetics, the eyelid configuration provides superior protection against environmental hazards. The tapering points naturally funnel tears across the eye surface, while the pronounced crease helps shed debris and reduce dust entry. Genetically, if one or both parents have almond-shaped eyes, children typically inherit this trait, demonstrating the strength of this genetic dominance. Round eyes, round eyes have a noticeable white area around the iris, with the visible white part called the sclera appearing all around, including on the top and bottom of the eye. This expanded visible sclera in round eyes actually provides a wider field of vision awareness, allowing people with this eye shape to detect peripheral movements and threats more effectively than those with other shapes. While round eyes are genetically recessive compared to almond shapes, they offer distinct advantages in specific environments and situations. The increased sclera visibility means the eye captures a broader visual range which would have helped early humans detect predators or prey approaching from various angles. Round eyes also tend to be larger overall, which allows more light to enter the eye, providing advantages in lower light conditions. The lack of a pronounced taper means less light reflection at the eye's edges, reducing glare in certain conditions. This eye shape became more common in populations that spent significant time in varied lighting environments, where detecting movement in the peripheral vision was critical for survival. Deep-set eyes. Deep-set eyes make the brow bone appear more prominent since the eyeballs are deeper in the skull and sit further back relative to the orbital bone. This anatomical arrangement provides extra protection for the delicate eye structures through enhanced bone coverage, almost like a natural sunglasses effect. The deeper position of the eye within the socket creates a shadowed area that reduces direct glare exposure and UV radiation reaching the sensitive tissues of the eye. This structural advantage would have been particularly beneficial in high altitude or desert environments where intense sunlight and reflection create extreme glare conditions. Deep set eyes also provide mechanical protection against physical trauma, wind abrasion, and environmental debris. The bone structure E acts as a shield, reducing the likelihood of direct impact to the eye during physical activity or exposure to harsh weather. Populations that evolved in mountainous regions, deserts, or extremely windy climates tend to show higher prevalence of deep set eye characteristics. The genetic factors controlling eye socket depth include variations in PAX6 and other developmental genes that influence skull morphology and orbital anatomy. Monolid eyes. Monolid eyes do not have much of or any visible crease, appearing flat on the surface, and this shape is most common in East Asia. This eye configuration offers significant advantages in intense sunlight and snow reflection, as the flatter lid structure naturally reduces glare exposure compared to eyes with prominent creases that can create additional light-catching surfaces. The monolid structure evolved as a direct response to high altitude and arctic environments where snow and ice reflection intensify solar exposure. The continuous eyelid without a pronounced crease acts as a smooth barrier that disperses light more evenly, rather than concentrating it through crevices. While monolids may require additional eye care measures due to less protection over the eye and potential LE contributing to dry eyes, the reduced eyelid coverage allows superior peripheral vision and protection from wind-blown particles. This trade-off represents an adaptive advantage. The flatter lid structure naturally funnels away snow and wind-blown debris while maximizing side vision in environments where detecting movement on snowy plains was critical for survival. The genetic basis involves multiple genes affecting eyelid development and skin fold formation. Wide-set eyes. Wide-set eyes are positioned farther apart on the face, with greater distance between the inner corners of each eye. This spacing provides significant visual advantages by expanding the total field of binocular vision 
and increasing depth perception range. Animals with wide set eyes, including many prey species, have evolved this trait specifically because it allows them to detect movement across a wider frontal arc, critical for early threat detection. In humans, wide set eyes indicate ancestry from environments where panoramic awareness was essential, such as open plains or savannas, where threats could approach from various directions. The increased inter eye distance also affects how the visual cortex processes spatial information, potentially enhancing the ability to judge g distances and navigate complex terrain. Wide set eyes are also associated with larger eye sockets and orbital spacing, which correlates with better accommodation and focus flexibility. The genetic factors controlling eye socket width involve genes like SH3PXD2B and AXL that influence orbital development during fetal development. Close set eyes. Close set eyes are positioned closer together on the face than average, with reduced distance between the inner eye corners. This configuration provides specialized advantages for tasks requiring intense focus on nearby objects and fine detail work. The closer proximity of the eyes creates an increased overlap in visual fields, which enhances stereoscopic vision and depth perception at close range. People with close set eyes naturally excel at precision tasks such as microscopy, watchmaking, surgery, fine art, and other work requiring sustained near field focus. The genetic arrangement also tends to correlate with slightly smaller eye sockets and orbital spacing, which influences accommodation patterns and visual processing. Close set eyes were advantageous in ancestral environments. Ironments where gathering small food items, crafting tools, and detailed manual work were essential survival skills. The reduced inter eye distance changes how parallax information is processed by the visual system, actually improving depth perception and detailed discrimination at close distances. Hooded eyes. Hooded eyes feature a heavier upper eyelid that partially covers the eye, with excess skin folding over the eyelid crease. This configuration provides protection against environmental elements, including UV radiation, wind, and dust. The extra eyelid tissue acts as a barrier against harsh weather, reducing direct exposure to sensitive eye tissues. Hooded eyes are often found in populations from northern latitudes and high altitude regions where UV protection and wind resistance were critical evolutionary advantages. The genetic basis involves variations in genes controlling fat distribution in the eyelid and skin elasticity. The hooded configuration naturally shades the eye from direct overhead sunlight reducing glare and the need to squint in bright conditions. The extra tiss, UE also improves tear film retention by creating a more enclosed protective chamber around the eye. Have you noticed how your eye shape connects to your ancestry and environment? Let us know in the comments which eye shape you have and what advantages you've noticed. Subscribe for more fascinating videos exploring the hidden benefits of your unique human features.